Well, hello, hello. This is Rose Arts Education. How you doing? Gonna bring to you a quick meal in one dish. Now, granted, I did get another. I actually, I didn't do it. Hubby did all this. He prepped me because I literally just got home from work. I had a 45-minute late delay because of a customer, so I didn't get off on time. So, so I was caught in traffic driving home. Hubby went ahead and prepped everything for me. He's so sweet. But anyway, what we're doing today is we're going to have a sausage potato one sheet meal dinner. And he chopped up the potatoes, chopped up the sausages, and this is this uh, andouille sausage. It's a new sausage we got from our local, uh, hubby, we got it at Kroger or H-E-B? I don't remember. We don't remember what store, but it's either Kroger or H-E-B. That's our local grocery store. Now he went ahead and seasoned it with some different. What kind of seasoning did you put in here, Poppy? Brown butter and onion and whatever that is. Oh, so he put in here this caramelized onion butter from Linder's. We get this from Sam's. And this roasted garlic brown butter. If you haven't tried it, you need to buy both of these. Actually, I almost buy every single thing from all the seasonings from Kinder's. K-I-N-D-E-R-S. We get this at Sam's. I'm sure there's other places you can buy it. I, re I really don't know. I've never looked because Sam's is our local's uh, big bulk store that we go to. But I'm going to be adding Parmesan cheese. We keep, I keep my cheese, the big containers I buy in bulk, and I keep it in the fridge. Ah, oh, I'm supposed to have a no-spill video, and I spill but hubby wash this so I know it's clean so I can do this. Remember, clean hands, clean utensils, clean table. Then you don't get sick. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some of this Parmesan cheese all over everything. Now, this particular, because we already had this sausage, has a lot of oil. If you get a sausage that doesn't have a lot of oil, or if you do venison sausage, which doesn't have a lot of oil, then you want to add some olive oil to it, or grapeseed oil, whichever it is that you want. He already coated all this with grapeseed oil, so we're good to go. Uh, oh. Spatula. You can use your fingers, you can use your hands, it doesn't really matter. Okay, but because we know that this particular sausage produces extra oil as it's baking, I'm not adding any more to this. Now all I want to do is just mix this, whoops, I just want to mix this up. And now is a good time if you buy that um, non-stick a foil for minerals wrap. They have a regular foil, then they have the non-stick kind. Get yourself and use the non-stick kind if you can do it. But if not, the regular foil will work. It's just if you don't have enough oil in it, it might stick a little bit on you. So when you use the non-stick one, which is what heavy used here, you won't have that problem. And look at me, I'm not wearing no apron. Mm. Is, um, am I tempting fate of boo-boos? <laughs> I already had a tiny little spill of the Parmesan cheese, but that's, I, it's still a spill. <laughs> Someday I'll, I'll be good enough where I don't have any boo-boos. No spillage. And Frugal Rosa says, I'm wasting food, I'm wasting food. <laughs> okay. So I just gave this a nice little quick little stir. I'm going to spread this all out as much and as even as possible all over this foil. Okay. Put that on my spoon wrist. Now I'm going to give it one more sprinkle because you can never have too much cheese. And of course you can use any cheese you want. I just like, okay, come on, this um, Parmesan cheese for items like this. 
Yeah, there's some little clumpies in there. Well, I'm good to go because it's just going to get melted. So we're good. Hubby loves his Parmesan cheese. He likes to put it on all kinds of stuff. And so since he prepped most of this, he gets what he wants. <laughs> okay. Put this in. Uh, what kind of, what temperature do you set the oven on, Poppy? 350. 350. And I would say 30 to 45 minutes. And that should be it. Only because we want the potato. Did you use my pressure cap potatoes? Yes. Okay, so these were a jar of pressure cap potatoes. So they're already baked. Okay, so all we got to do, let me show you. Here's a fork. I'm going to poke a potato. It goes right on in. So all I need to do is heat this up. That's it. I don't have to do anything. You could go the old-fashioned way. Peel your potatoes, rinse them, slice them, dice them, put them on here. But when you do that, you want to cook your potatoes a good 50, 55 minutes, maybe an hour and 10 minutes. And then I would test, I would set your timer for 45 minutes to see if they've softened up. I'll do, a, oh, my oven's ready. Tubby preheated it for me. I will do some more research just to double check that time frame on raw potatoes when you're baking them in the oven for the time frame and the temperature. But pretty much 350 is going to be totally fine. But I'll just double check. And I'll put that as a pop-up in the video, okay? So you know if you're going to do raw, fresh potatoes, how long you need to cook it. And you'll do the potatoes first by themselves. Typically we would have, you, you could have, and you could add, um... Let me, let me put this in the oven right quick when I'm talking. Because that's... I don't be wasting my extra time here. Okay. It's... Set, I'm setting my timer. I'll do it in just a second. So, put... Cut your up your sliced onions. Typically, we're supposed to have onions, but hubby don't care for them, so we're not going to get any. You can always put onion powder in there if you want to, but he seasoned the stuff that he likes, so I'm good to go. And I like pretty much what he likes except for the spicy stuff. I like it, but my tummy can't handle it. So whatever veggies, if you want to do like sliced bell peppers, diced bell peppers, diced onions, sliced onions, whatever. Any veggie or uh, any veggie of your choice, it's up to you. And don't put, slice them, but don't put it in there yet, okay? What you want to do is put the sliced potatoes, diced potatoes, sliced potatoes, whatever it is you're doing. Put them in the oven. Coat them with whatever oil it is, because potatoes must be coated, okay? Coat them with whatever oil it is that you have, okay? Then you bake them, and then we're they're pretty much, pretty much done with where you poke it, and it's the fork goes right on in. That means they're practically done. Then add your sausage, because sausage is already cooked. All you're doing is heating it up, okay? Now, if you're using brand, like some butchers, you uh, buy an animal and then you do your own sausage and stuff. That sausage isn't cooked. It's just the ground meat. that they, they fresh ground it. They put it all together. Put it in the casing. That meat hasn't cooked yet. Then you need to cook it. Then you need to add your time to the equivalence of whatever it is that you're using. So then at that time you'll want to use anywhere from 40, more than likely 50 minutes to like an hour and 10 minutes. And again, it depends on your oven. It depends on how big your slices are the, of the items that you're roasting. Because what we're doing is we're roasting the product in the sheet pan. So you're just getting a coating, a crispy coating on the outside. Now what I typically would do is I'm going to set my timer for about, because I've been rambling right now, for about 2-3 minutes. I'm going to set my timer for 25 minutes. Okay, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to stir them. And then I'm going to sprinkle and spray. And my hubby, hubby said he used... The grape seed oil. So I'm gonna spray. I got myself a little sprayer from Timu, and I'm gonna spray the whole thing before I toss them. I'm gonna give them one more toss. I'm gonna spray the whole thing with this grape seed oil. Put it back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how toasty the first batch is. Okay, and more than likely, it, it shouldn't take no more than 30 minutes to max, because all we're doing is toasting them. So. I'll bring you back because the next time we come back, we're going to do the taste test because I'm not going to show you just be tossing them and spraying oil all over them. 
There's nothing, nothing to see really. So we'll bring you back when we do the taste test. Okay, we are back. It actually only took 20 minutes. <laughs> I tell you, having pre-cooked items is such a time saver. Yeah, during the day that you're processing your pressure canning or water bag canning, whatever it is, it's an all-day deal or ordeal. It's Well, not maybe necessarily ordeal, depending on what you're making, but I'm going to take the effort to do part of it. I'm going to do four or five things at one time. So for me, it's, it is a good eight to 10 hour day, but you accomplish so much. They're ready. Oh, I forgot to show you. I'm gonna bring this up close to you. And you can see the oil from the sausage. You see that? So I didn't have to add any extra oil because of the oil that's already in the sausage. But again, like I said, depending on what kind of meat you're using, determines how much sausage you need. I mean, how much oil you need. Okay, so here's hubby's little plate. Let's do a taste test. That's my favorite part. And oh, let me show you. Here it is. Look at that. It's breaking apart. It's so soft. Now let's see how we do our seasoning because the biggest thing is the taste test. How well did we season everything? And typically what I would do if it's really oily is I would put this on a paper towel and let it soak up all the oil. But because I did not add the extra oil, the oil from the sausage was just enough to coat everything. And we're good to go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Potatoes are good. They could, I, I could actually put them back in the oven and let them get really, really warm, hot, blazing hot. But I'm not going to because they're very, very warm. Oh yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Two thumbs up. 20 minutes as far as baking time is concerned. Supper's ready and one cutting board, one knife to cut the sausage. It, we use wide mouth pint jars. It took three pints of jars. They're right here in my dish drain. Hubby even did, did me, help me out by doing the dishes. One sheet pan and one spatula. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven items is all we had to wash. And dinner is ready in 20 minutes. I say probably the prep time to slice if you were going to slice everything because but we didn't have to do the potatoes because they were already sliced. He only had to slice the sausage and it took him maybe seven to ten minutes, ten minutes max. It wasn't even that long because it was only one link of sausage. It wasn't even a whole link because it's just the two of us. Now of course those of you who have a bigger family is going to take a little bit longer. But I would say from beginning to end from the very beginning, which is prepping and getting everything ready to eat in 30 minutes and you're done. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.